today i am going to deliver lecture 12 linear algebra lecture 12 on problems of coordinate vectors by dr piramlu head department of mathematics mbs government arts and science college mahabubnagar last lecture already we have discussed about the coordinate vectors and some problems of coordinate vector now i am also discussing about some other problems of coordinate vector yesterday we have discussed about coordinate vector now i am using some other method to find coordinate vector right so before going to solve problems of coordinate vector now i am a revision what is coordinate vector right so today our topic is problems of coordinate vector so what is coordinate vector what is coordinate vector so i am taking that v over f be a vector space first of all anything is there that v over f uh, so v over f uh, be a vector space v over a vector space v over f be a vector space so i'm taking uh, some basis b uh, okay uh basis so b is equal to this is my basis so that is equal to v1 v2 and there there Or else you can take that b one b one. Every last class I take and b one b one. So that's why I'm writing here b one. Uh, this vector I'm writing b one b one. So b two. So these are vectors I'm writing like. Right. So this is uh, basis for. Vector space v over f. V over vector space I'm taking and v is equal to v one v two bar times v the the basis for vector space. Then there exists two. Then so there exists two a scalars c one c two. Dash 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 so C n belong to F belonging to F such that belongs to F such that oh, x. Equal to C one B one plus C two B two plus dash uh, dash dash C n. B N. There is zero zero. So, so uh, that here we have called this vector C one, C two. Yes, yes, yes. So, C. So this matrix is called uh, coordinate vector, right? Or this vector is called coordinate vector. It is denoted by X. This is not by x b. 
so right uh if i define other way also what can i do here uh, i can define uh, other way right uh, here let v1 be vector space and b is the basis b is equal to v1 by b2 by basis vector space and do for e for for x belonging to v for x belongs to v there exists scalar c1 c2 such that x is equal to c1 b1 bar plus c2 b2 bar plus data c n b n bar so then this vector c1 c2 data c n is called coordinate matrix vector or you can also call it coordinate matrix also because this is 1 by n matrix that's uh, sorry, n by 1 matrix that's why i are calling coordinate matrix also notation i am denoting xb for notation i am denoting as xb right so for simply already yesterday we have discussed some problems so i am going to prove some other problems very simple method before going to discuss other method uh, i will reason last method so now i will solve by using other problem, other method right here uh, so question is uh, right uh, same r to over or is a vector space r to over r be a vector space i do Uh, I'm taking that uh, my base is uh, b b basis b uh, equal to some vector I'm um, I'm taking the standard basis. What is the standard basis of R two over R one comma zero comma zero comma one and x is equal to you can take anywhere. X is equal to you may take anything. So. Uh, simply, uh, I want to take that. Oh, mm, so oh, okay, two thousand twenty nineteen twenty. I'm taking this. Okay. So instead of x, so this numbers you can take one, two, three, four, four, five, but nothing will happen. This is x. So then find called matrix uh, relative basis B that is X B or five. Then then find then find X B that is coordinate matrix. This is my question. Right. So uh, that means uh, he has R two or as vector space. B is given, X is given. Then we have to find the scalar such so that so vector so such so that X is equal to C one then one zero plus C two zero one. Right. So now for finding coordinate vectors, I am taking here what to uh, what definition is that? Uh, What is our definition? Is that oh, so given vector p is equal to one zero zero, right? Here I am denoting this is so v one, or you can take the b one, b one bar, nothing like that, right? B one bar. This nothing but a b one bar. This nothing but a b two bar. Okay. Here x is so x one, x two, what will make nothing happen? Ah, uh, I am considering. For find x b, I am Consider consider uh, x equal to or uh, uh, let them take that scalar so scalar c one c one right so if x belongs to v there exists scalar c one c such that According to coordinate definition, I'm taking scalar so c1, c1, so c1 into b1 bar, 
प्लस सी टू इंटू बी टू पर देन वी से दैट द कोनेट सी वन सी टू इज कॉल्ड कोनेट वेक्टर रेट बेसिस दी वन राइट यर वी हैड फाइनल सी वन सी टू इफ यू फाइंड सी वन सी टू ऑलरेडी में दैट यर एक्स बी इज कॉल्ड टू व्हाट इज एक्स बी कॉल्ड टू दिस कोनेट वेक्टर मैट्रिक्स राइट यर एक्स बी कॉल्ड टू देन इफ कंसीडर दिस देन एक्स बी इज कॉल्ड टू दिस सी वन एंड ऑफ सी ट Or the coordinate matrix or coordinate vector. What is x? X has given that x is called how much here? I am taking 2019, 2020. In place of 2020, you can take any value. 2019, 2020. That equal to C1 nothing but C1, B1 bar, B1 bar nothing but this is B1 bar, right? One zero plus C2, B2 bar nothing but zero one, right? That equal to C1 comma zero plus C2 zero comma C2. So if I add these both things, then what happen here? C1 and C2, which implies. Here yeah, left side what we have here two thousand nineteen two thousand twenty right that equal to here two thousand nineteen two thousand twenty that equal to C one C two which is nothing but what we know this is x right x plus C one right that equal to Xd okay so therefore xd is equal to c1 to the 90 20 yeah so this is the coordinate matrix related to this is this is simplest problem if i take in place of uh, here in place of uh, 1 comma 0 we will take that 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 3 like this One comma two, two comma three. Here my basis, if I change the basis here, uh, so what happen here? I'm taking that uh, other problem. Right. Question is uh, same R two R as vector space. Why? Because here, here I'm getting simple problem. R two over R be vector space. Or two or other vector space. So, I know I'm taking basis B equal to and basis B is equal to one minus two. One minus two and minus three five. Minus three five. I do. I'm taking x equal to two minus five. X equal to two minus five. So uh, b is equal to one minus two. And of uh, minus three five x is equal to two minus five. So uh, then find, then find coordinate matrix B. Coordinate matrix x B. Yeah. 
same here my basis is changes so i am vector is changes i want to solve this uh, by using same method uh, later i will solve other by using other method of right question is so r2 r is vector space b is equal to 1 minus 2 minus 3 phi x is equal to 2 minus phi here xb right xb is so we have to find um, this xb is question mark. solution for this what we required uh, there exists scalar c1 and c2 belonging to f such that here f nothing but or field here i am taking the vector space r2 or r that way c1 such that x equal to c1 b1 bar plus uh, c2 c2 b2 bar so then what we know here x b equal to then we know that uh, the coordinate vector x b equal to that means basis related basis is so that equal to c1 and C2. Right. So this is B1 bar and this is B2 bar. X equal to this. So let which implies uh, what is X? So X is nothing but 2 minus 5. X nothing but 2 minus 5. That equal to C1 nothing but C1 only. What is B1 bar? B1 bar nothing but 1 minus 2. I know uh, B2 nothing but plus C2 times of so minus 3 5 B2 bar nothing but minus 3 5. Now I want to solve C1 C by using the relation that equal to what happened here that equal to Yes, C1 minus 2 C1 plus C2. This what happened here? Minus. Okay, uh, I will do that. So, minus 3 C2. Y C two. If I add these vectors or this matrix, what we get here? C one minus three C two minus two C one plus five C two. equal to which implies this equal to what we have here 2 minus 5 so if I uh, if I see if I equaling this what will happen here so c1 minus 3 c2 c1 minus 3 c2 that equal to 2 minus 2 C1 plus 5 C2 equal to minus 5. So 
right this is one this is two. Yeah. you want to solve right what can i do i want to multiply by two to equation one and adding one and two then what happen here two into one I'm multiplying by two to equation one and add to the equation. So what happened here? Two C one minus if I multiply two six C two that equal to four minus two C one plus Five C two that equal to minus five. So right. So both are get cancelled out. Right, both are get cancelled out. This is so what happen here? Minus six C two is equal to how much here? Minus C two. That equal to how much here? Minus one, which implies C two is equal to one. C two is equal to one. C two is equal to one. I want to substitute this value in equation one. Then what happen? C one minus C two is equal to one. What happen? Minus three, right? Minus three. That equal to how much two? <coughs> C one equal to what happen? This goes this side. Plus three, two plus three equal to four. Five. That equal to C one is equal to five. C one equal to five. So therefore. X B equal to that means the coordinate vector X B is equal to C one C C one C two so that equal to two Ah, uh, sorry. C one, ah, uh, C one is equal to five, right? C one is equal to five. C two is equal to one. Right? This is my coordinate vector related to basis B or coordinate matrix related to basis B. So this way we have already discussed the study problem. Today I am going to solve these problems. Now. I want to use some other method to solve this problem. I want to use other method to solve these problems. How can we use other method? Right. Here. Uh, change of uh, coordinate matrix change of coordinate matrix what is change of coordinate matrix what is change of coordinate matrix now i will discuss this uh, so i will discuss this uh, Later, right? Oh, uh, we'll discuss the problems of uh, change of coordinate matrix. Sorry, uh, coordinate vectors. 
I want to solve another problem by using change of quotient. What is change of quotient matrix? What is change of quotient? Just now already we have discussed. Okay, just now already we have discussed about the quotient vector. Okay, now I want to define change of quotient matrix. Same v over p. Uh, V over F, uh, V over a B a vector space, so, V over a B a vector space, and uh, B equal to one taking that basis, B equal to one taking, so basis, uh, same B one over. B two power B n power B one power B two power B n power. This is vector, right? We are a vector space. B is equal B one B two divided by B n power B a quad uh, basis power vector space. Okay. B is basis power vector space power, right? For x belonging to V. For x belonging to V, for vector in X, there exist scalars say C one and C two. There, there, there are so C n such that there are scalars C one, C two, C n such that. Uh, X equal to C one T one bar C two T two bar there 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 um. Here, what I'm taking that oh, C N B N. So then, okay, same uh, change of co coordinate vector definition will be same. But here I'm defining other matrix change of coordinate matrix change of coordinate matrix. That's why up to now same. So then, then. X so uh, in place of your uh, I'm writing this uh, later on right then here this B one B one B two power. Right. So this matrix is called change of order matrix. It is denoted by it is uh, denoted by P B. Therefore, PB is equal to what I call this, right? This. Already know that uh, C1 V2 that as you already know that change of coordinate matrix. This is uh, that is coordinate vector. This is coordinate to change of coordinate matrix. Therefore, x equal to how do you how do you write here? X equal to PB. And uh, x b.
A B X Y. Can observe here. This people nothing but this change of coordinate matrix one two three right. Oh, X Y C one C two C is called change of coordinate matrix. Right. Where you can write here. X B. X B is equal to. One C one C two dash 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 so C yeah. right. This is change of coordinate matrix. If I multiply both matrix, then we can simply that this is one vector, one cross n vector. This is n cross one vector. We will get y vector right. That means we will get x equal to what happen here. We multiply this is PB into this. You will get that of B1 C1 into B1 bar plus C2 into B2 bar plus C1 into B1 bar, right? right? So therefore, this is this matrix called to change of coordinate matrix related to the basis B. This matrix called change of coordinate vector right. mm, related to the basis B. Only coordinate vector. This is this is change of matrix, right? Change of coordinate matrix. This is only coordinate vector. So here I am able to find that uh, the uh, what we are that uh, here we are to find in that uh, x b coordinate matrix. Right? This is what I want to find. Right? If uh, this is if no, I am writing this. If this is invertible, the coordinate matrix is invertible. Then x b equal to I want to multiply both side p b inverse here. You will write that equal to what happen here p b p b inverse x. X B is equal to P B inverse X, right? So by using this method, now I am going to find the coordinate vector. Okay. So this is the other method to find coordinate vector. So let O B one is equal to B two N basis for vector space over for each section X there is there are scalars you must suggest that O. X equal to C one B one bar C two bar, then then P B is equal to P one bar P two bar. That is called change of coordinate matrix related to basis B. Therefore, X is equal to P B X B where X B is equal to C one C two that is C. If the columns of P B form a basis, then P B the columns of form basis B then P B is invertible. Here, if the columns of P B right, why? Because this is basis, obviously it form basis. X B equal this. Use an invertible matrix to find X B for given. No, no. This other method I am going to solve here. Use an invertible matrix to find X B for given X and B. First one, one is equal to B. That equal to one minus two minus three five. X is equal to two comma minus one. To B is equal to one minus one comma two minus one comma x. Right? These two problems I want to solve. This problem just now I already explained by using. Okay, this problem just now I explained by using other method, previous method. Now, this problem I am going to solve by using this method. Right? Or to or B vector space and basis B is equal to one minus two comma minus three five and x is equal to two minus five. We already know that for each section in auto, we have to write x is equal to a1 b1 bar plus a2 b2 bar. Here, my in place of a1 and a2, I am taking this. See, I am taking a2 a1, right? So, which implies x is equal to p b x b. Just know already. Where p b p b nothing but coordinate matrix p b is equal to b1 bar b2 bar, and x b is equal to a1 a2. Here, this is x b is equal to a1 a2. What is b1 bar? 1 minus 2. B2 bar minus 3 5. Determinant of P B is equal to what happen here? We have to find determinant one minus two three by equal to minus one, which is not equal to zero. That means the columns of P B hence uh, P B form a basis. Why? Because already we know that if it is so, uh, determinant not zero, it will remain independent. Oh, then the columns of uh, already 
these columns are basis for vector space over. That's why it forms a basis of this only. And determine not is equal to the P B inverse exist, which implies X B is equal to P B inverse X. Right. What is P B inverse? P B is equal to agenda of P B and determinant of P B. Agenda of P B is equal to already got A B C D is there and minus A, uh, D A minus B minus C. That's why here I'm writing here this changes right D A will change this minus becomes five minus. What is determinant of P minus one? Therefore, P B inverse is equal to minus five minus three minus two minus three. Therefore, x b is equal to p b minus x. p b must equal to minus five minus three minus two minus one. That equal to minus five. So, if I multiply this, we get up in minus ten, minus two to ten, minus three to five, minus five to fifteen, minus two into minus one is equal to five. So, that equal to five one. Therefore, x is b right. So, this is the coordinate matrix. Already we know just for the x b equal to same will come. Okay, so five one. Get so this way. There also you get same answer, right? So right, you can choose your prayer exam. Right? If it is easy, you can put that one. If you are not easy, you can put this, right? But big matrix, it is easy. But small matrix, so it is only easy. So that means if we have only a uh, one vector, two vector, so two by two matrix, that is easy. But if I take three by three matrix, it will be easy. Let O. R two over R B vector space basis B is equal to one minus one two minus X is equal to this thing. Same I'm writing here X is equal to X B B bar X B B equal to minus one B one B bar that is equal to one minus one two minus one X B is equal to A one A two. Same problem X is equal to I'm writing here uh, A one B one power A two B two bar P B equal to one minus one two minus one. Determinant of P B is equal to one. So uh, that means P no exist. P B in us is equal to adjacent of P B by determinant of P B. So here adjacent of P B nothing but one by one minus one. Two. If I multiply this one minus one minus two one this adjacent P B nothing but A B minus A B C D can have the D A minus B minus C. So here I am writing here D A is minus one one minus two minus one. P B in us is equal to minus one one minus two one. Or you can simply write. Uh, X B is equal to P B no cigar, so X P B no cigar to minus one minus one now. Given X is equal to two three, so that equal to minus two minus six, two plus three that equal to minus eight five. So X B is equal to minus eight. Five. Same method you can solve this using right. Uh, B one equal to one, B two equal to one, B is equal to B one B. Then find coordinate vector X B of X relative basis B, where X is equal to four comma. Just now already we solved. You can find equal to one. Consider the basis B is equal to B1 go for all or two, where B1 is equal to 1 0, B2 is equal to 1 2. Suppose an x in R2 has coordinate vector x B, then find x. Okay, what you know? How do you have x B? Just you want to find x. X equal to what? We simply can multiply minus 2 into B1 plus 3 into B2. X equal to what happen here? The x equal to A1. This is P B X B. P B nothing but this, right? P B nothing but 1 0 1 2. X is nothing but minus two. X is equal to what? I mean here, one zero P B two into minus two three. If I multiply this, what happens? Uh, minus two plus three is equal to one, and the one and six. X is equal to one comes six. Or you can simply do that minus two into B one plus three into B two simply. X is equal to minus two one to B one plus two three into B two and add minus two into this one minus two plus zero plus six three into the other word three and three six minus two plus three equal to one zero into six equal to zero zero plus six equal to six that is one comma six I will easily easy. use coordinate vectors to verify that the polynomial one plus two t square plus four t Plus 5t square and 3 plus 2 are linearly dependent in P2. Right. Let P2 or a P vector space and given polynomial in P2 are 1 plus 2t square plus 4 plus comma 4 plus t plus 5t square. Two. Here B1 equal to the vector coordinate B1. I am taking that relative basis so right B1 vector that is 1 0 2. B2 is equal to what we have 4 1 5. B2 B2 B3 is equal to 3 2. The matrix says 
okay 1 0 2 4 1 5 3 2 5 I want to reduce this matrix integral from here we have 1 here 0 we have for the 18 0 this what can I do I have r 3 implies r 3 minus 2 r 1 r 3 minus 2 r 1 that equal to what happen here r 3 implies r 3 minus 2 r 1 this will be 0 so this 2 rows cannot be changes in 1 4 3 0 1 2 this is 0 ok for this 5 minus 8 that equal to minus 3 0 minus 6 equal to minus 6 now we have a 1 i want to reduce this matrix integral and form right uh, so for this what you, what do you do here for getting this 0 i want to do that r3 plus 3 r2 that will be 1 4 3 0 1 2 0 0 0 right this so if you can observe here this is 3 times of 0 equal to 0 3 minus 6 plus 6 equal to 0 this will be reduced 0 that means when we reducing the given matrix into echelon form we get only two non zeros one row will be zero Two non zero rows, one row completely zero. Hence, this row can be linear combination of other rows. That means, if any row is a linear combination of other row, one vector is a linear combination of other vector, it is formed a linearly dependent set. That's why the given vectors are linearly dependent form, dependent vectors, dependent polynomial in P2 over. Use coordinate vector to test the linear dependent of polynomials explain your part okay. here 1 plus 2t square plus same problem just now already we solved that again i am explaining here simply given polynomials are 1 plus 2t square plus 2t is right this i am writing in the form of matrix here b1 equal to 1 0 0 2 this way polynomial is 1 plus 2t square here 1 there is no t term that i am writing 0 and there is no t square term i am writing 0 a 2 2 came nothing but 2 p2 is equal to 2 1 minus 3 0 b3 is equal to 0 minus 1 2 minus 1 a equal to 1 2 1 0 0 b2 is equal to 1 r4 implies r4 implies uh, here the r4 implies what happen here r2 r1 minus r4 okay yeah, i think r4 minus 2 r1 simply r4 minus 2 r1 okay like that 2 r1 minus r1 well, what happen here this will be 0 this will be 0 this will be here as simply as the 2 r1 is 0 that is equal to minus 1 um, okay this will okay if you use this thing here minus 1 you get you can use other way also r4 minus 2 r1 you get minus 4 actually. simple method is so What to do? Okay, ah, see, okay, no problem. Here we have, if we reduce the matrix echelon form, it is actually zero. Next, uh, what I'm doing here? Next, this one is there. I want to reduce this and zero, zero. This will be it is possible. Next, what happen here? Uh, from non-zero element will come. Here also non-zero will come. By using operation, will one row will be getting zero. One row will be compulsory zero vector that means uh, when we reducing given matrix into echelon form we have three non-zero rows and so uh, the given vectors are linearly dependent why because if all non-zero rows we can say that it is linearly dependent but uh, we get only three non-zero rows one is zero row that's why it is uh, linearly dependent set Similarly, the R3 or R vector space and given vector elements are 1 minus 2, 2, 3. I am writing the same in the form of B1, B2, B3. Same, I want to do what we do here. I am reduce this matrix in echelon form. Here also, same problem. If we this reduce matrix, we have, uh, this rows will be zeros. Here we will get one other matrix. This and this will get zero. Here one non zero element. Here also one non zero element. Finally, what will happen here? We will get only three non zero rows. One zero will be get zero. So when we reduce the given matrix in echelon form, we have only two non zero rows. So by way, hence so the given vectors are linearly dependent. Same similarly, you can solve by using corner vector test the linear dependence of the explain your work, right? Uh, yeah, these problems already I solved by using method. So you can solve your own by using uh, so last methods. So you simply you can take that uh, the coordinate vectors for this and take your matrix reduce given matrix a form so finally 
you will get the non zero rows if you get all non zero rows it is linear dependent independent if you do not uh, now get on uh, if, you, if you not get all non zero rows then if you get any non any zero row it is linearly dependent vector so these problems you can do your own as well as right so these are all methods all problems just now we have solved same method only and same we have problem here so one my should say take some vectors component in the matrix you can do a matrix reduce this matrix in the column form by using already similar method yes you observe here by using this you can have so here two zero rows uh, it means when we reduce given matrix in the column form we get only two, uh, two non zero rows only only two non zero rows uh, we get here two zero rows that means linearly dependent vector only same the quadratic vector test for following right same we can ex these problems okay uh, reduce this matrix in the column form if reducing this matrix in the column form we will get at least one non zero row here we will get one non zero then we reduce given matrix we get to only one uh, only two non zero rows so given problem is linearly does not span so that means this vector is a linear combination of this therefore it does not span r2 here we say that uh, uh, this is linearly dependent vectors the coordinate vectors of given polynomial is same as this so uh, can take that you can take this matrix says so write it into for matrix reduce this matrix in column form when we reduce given matrix in column form here uh, see a column form here is 7 by 2 uh, so for when given reduce matrix in column form we get all non zero rows hence given polynomial is vector span r2 but we can do what we do this so um, if you do operations for using this uh, uh, the one column will get zero so in this case what happen one column is a stands but one column is linear column that is not uh, linearly dependent so it is not linearly dependent it is linearly dependent only right so same problems you can do your own thing i can say polynomials uh, use coordinate vector that is polynomial form basis for p2 or not you can verify this thing right? okay. okay you can take that is polynomial c so we have verified that p1 equal to p2 equal to vectors and a equal to this matrix and reduce the given matrix and we reduce the given matrix in the column form we will get three non zero rows if i take this problem 1 plus t square t minus 3 square right? this problem use coordinate vector show that this polynomial form basis or not right? So that's why I'm taking that uh, here P1 equal to this, P2 equal to this, P3 equal to this. When we reduce given matrix in column form, here we got that all three non zero rows. So that means so given reduce matrix, so when we reduce given matrix in column form, we got uh, no non zero rows. Uh, sorry, we got all non zero rows and we do not get any zero rows. That means hence this form a basis and spans and do form a basis and it is linear independent cycle. This is vectors form basis for R2, right? Similar to B is equal to we are taking B1 equal to P1, P2, P3, Q B is equal to this thing, Q is equal to this, uh, and corner vector you have to find Q B, right? So uh, that means um, mm. Q is equal to A1 P1, that means minus 1 P1. Uh, okay, B problem what consider the basis B1 for P2, find Q in P2 in given vector QB. That means by using this vector, so we have to find the q vector consider the coordinate vector consider the basis b p1 p2 p3 by using the vector we had consider basis for p for p2 find q in r q in p2 given vectors but already we show that this is basis now basis b is where p1 equal to this coordinate for this already we know that by coordinate matrix q is equal to what happened a1 p1 plus a2 p2 plus a3 p3 a1 nothing but minus 1 this is minus a1 a2 a3 minus 1 P1 nothing but this, P2 nothing but this, P3 nothing but this. If I add and multiply, we will get Q is equal to 1, 3, minus 10, right? So, this end the lecture 12. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this.